Okay, so to set up your Minecraft bucket server, you want to make a folder for your bucket server. So obviously, new folder. Um, I'm just going to call it bucket server. Whoop, sorry, bucket server one, not bucketer. Um, obviously, you can call it whatever you like. Um, open that up and go to this link. I'll put it in the description so you don't have to like so you don't have to type it in. Um, and under Windows. I'm assuming you've got Windows. If you have Mac, there are loads of like different tutorials that explain how you do it on Mac. But I've got Windows, so I'm obviously going to show you how to do it on Windows. But underneath Windows, there are three steps. Obviously, you want to do the first one first. Um, so download the latest version of Bucket. And once that's downloaded, drag and drop it into your server folder that you just made. Then um just rename that to craft bucket so it just says craft bucket then copy and paste or sorry just copy this don't need to paste it yet um so obviously control c just this bit here um then go into notepad or whatever text editor um doesn't matter really I'm going to use notepad um then paste it then save and then in your um we want to go to your bucket server folder that you just made um yeah there whoops <laughs> there um so you want to make sure it's save as type and then all files and then i'm just going to call it start i think you can call it whatever you like but i'm just going to call it starter and make sure you put dot bat at the end and make sure it's save as type all files. If you don't do that then it probably won't work. So once that's saved, close it. And then open that file you just made. And it will automatically generate the world and all the files and stuff. So your um server.properties file and like band IPs and band players files and ops files and stuff like that so it will just generate the world and all your server files and stuff so now it's done so you type in stop and then any key and then um, that's your server generated in the plugins folder you basically put in obviously any plugins that you download so I'll show you how to download a plugin I won't actually show you how to install a plugin because that's like a different thing really um, I mean I won't, sorry I won't show you how to like set up a plugin because that's a different thing really but I'll show you how to actually install a plugin so you want to go to plugins dot bucket spelled b-u-k-k-i-t dot org and then here you'll have a list of like the latest plugins different categories on the side, obviously you can search or search an author. Also you can search the new version of this page called Bucket Dev because these are like as forums but there's a new version called Bucket Dev so if you can't find something it's kind of a good idea to search Bucket Dev as well. So I'm going to search Essentials that's a good plugin for like message of the day and stuff and loads of different commands, it's a really good plugin um so it obviously comes up with the search results comes up with the forum page and obviously you want to download it so if it comes as a dot jar file then you can just drag and drop it straight into that plugins folder but as it's a dot zip obviously you have to extract it so um just get all of these .jar files and just drag and drop them into the plugins folder and they're now installed you just have to run the server so start up that starter file it will load all the plugins and then you can stop the server again and then inside your plugins folder it would have generated a folder which will have 
all your config files and stuff so all the different settings so you can like change um yeah you can change all these settings there's stuff like um m o t d and rules and stuff so um yeah that's it really um actually setting up plugins is kind of a different video so I won't bother doing that now but that's basically how to um set up a bucket server.